Hey everybody, so I'm going to try and do quick videos for each sign just to kind of check in. <clears throat> it's been a minute since I posted something, so um, I'm going to try and see how much I can actually get in in such a short time. So we are going to use, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be using my new deck, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart cards, which I haven't gone through all those the energy oracle cards and then just some cards that I made up a couple months ago so let's see what we have for Capricorn so I'm gonna try to make this quick because my internet at home sucks and when I try to do longer videos they don't upload properly or fast enough I should say I'm gonna get it taken care of <clears throat> but let's see and I'm gonna try and take a video show a video not a video like a screenshot of the picture of them laid out i'm gonna see if that works all right so capricorn for this moment in time what is going on i'm gonna pull the cards first three of each and then go from there i'm gonna take that one since it's trying to come out <laughs> make these like fast see how fast how long it takes oh, got my three we have release dreams coming true and daydreams and decisions in reverse so I haven't looked at what these meanings are I'm gonna go by what I feel so um, keep those three in mind, and I'm going to finish up the rest here. <clears throat> it feels like I'm on a race to beat the clock. That's fine. All right, out of this one, we have fifth chakra, which is the throat chakra, rest and rejuvenate, and sixth chakra, which I believe that is the, that deals with intuition. I don't have my deck here. All right, we're just gonna say that, deals with intuition. <coughs> working with me tonight all right so out of my own i have you are not like the other women and these are the thoughts of whoever it is that you're thinking about i can't get you out of my head and oops aquarius so capricorn what i'm picking up from this <clears throat> Is that you're working on your communication skills and trying to be in tune to your intuition with both the um, throat chakra and the sixth chakra. You are trying to um, you're trying to hone in on the areas that you possibly feel that you need to have more skill with. I feel like with this one, the intuition card, you really are um, starting to see things for how they are and people for how they are. And that kind of explains the daydreams and decisions in reverse. Like you're letting go of false things and seeing things for reality. So that could be either in, you know, personal life, well, personal life in general, but dealing with relationships or just with friendships, whatever it is for you at this moment in time. Um, with dreams coming true and release, 
um, what I'm getting from this one here, release, is that you're getting rid of old ways of thinking, um, uh, getting rid of old hurt and pain, things that have caused you issues. Um, as you can see, this person is like stripping themselves. So it's like you're starting new. So you're releasing the old and welcoming the new. And that's where this card comes in, dreams coming true, because whatever it is that you're wanting, you are going to get. Um, that could be uh, education, work, uh, relationship wise. And I feel like maybe you took a break with this rest and rejuvenation card here. You took a break from everything just so that way you could focus on the throat chakra and the sixth chakra just so you can kind of have more insight and um, communication. Like you possibly, I don't feel like you have an issue because of course Capricorns, we are leaders. Naturally, I'm a Capricorn, but um, Capricorn, Capricorn sun. Um, naturally leaders, I don't think it's more so of communication um, like not being able to speak up. I think it's more so of figuring out how to communicate effectively. So maybe you're like harsh to people or you just came off like straight out the gate telling them about themselves and some people can't handle that. So it's not like you're being fake. I just feel like maybe you're refining how you talk to people. Um, and definitely with your intuition, you're really starting to um, lean more towards believing in what you feel instead of disregarding that first that first mind that you get when something happens so um in all i feel like you were healing you probably have been healing in the past couple months you have been trying to focus on your future and everything that you're putting in like positive energy you're going to get back so keep doing what you're doing um it's a lot of emotional stuff here so um it could be dealing with like inner emotions with a lot of stuff. So take it however it resonates with you as far as friendship or relationship wise goes. But definitely you took the time to release old ways and start fresh. So that's where you are right now wanting to um, start new and get rid of your old ways that we're not servicing you serving you properly because the end goal of course is your dreams coming true whatever that may be for you individually now moving on to um the love portion because these cards i made them because of a person so it's more so for like a partner but you have um the you are not like other women or men so this is both for define um i'm sorry this is both for the feminine and masculine so with this is what that's saying you could be away from someone at this point capricorn and this person's thoughts towards you is that you're not like other people so they may have tried to lump you into a category or they probably dismissed you and they're starting to realize in your absence that you aren't like other people and they had maybe um judged you a little bit too harshly or too soon without thinking for themselves um so that's really what that means and I can't get you out of my head. <clears throat> so your person is constantly thinking about you. Um, you guys could be in separation. So this could be a twin flame or soulmate possibly. But you guys are not talking. So this person is constantly thinking about you. And you could be thinking about them as well. And of course with the Aquarius being here. That could be this is your sign. Well not your sign. Why did I say that? This is the sign of your person or you or the person have this in your chart. So Aquarius deals with a lot of, um, I don't know, when I think of Aquarius, I kind of think of like emotional. I don't know why I'm thinking of an emotional person right now. I don't even know if they're a water sign. My mind is just jumbled right now. But basically look into that, look into Aquarius personality, um, see if it matches anything with you or the person that you're thinking about. But um, this is the reading. I'm going to try and put all of these in there. So hopefully it'll get, sorry. Hopefully it'll get everything. <laughs> I'm trying to get all in there. All right. So that way you guys can kind of look on your own. Um, but thank you for watching Capricorn. And I'm going to try and do little mini videos like this. If you guys want to know more and go more into depth than I can use tarot cards. 
but I just wanted to make it quick and simple. So if you guys like this, please comment um, and like the video so I can do more. I know I'm slacking, but I'm trying.